Honorable Martha Karua and other party leaders, for me, I'm going to look at this issue in a very critical way because I've been very much involved in the Mungiki issue. I remember in 1997 when I was practicing law in UK, the issue of Mungiki became very apparent, which informed us to find out what we were going to do with that br brutal regime of President Moy when he wanted to castrate all young Kikuyu males of the ages of 13 and 19. When he suckled them and killed many of them, and many of them were thrown in Karura Forest, many of them were thrown in Gong Forest. In addition to that, and you'll allow me to speak because I have a very strong history with the Mungiki issue as somebody who led the UN to come into this country. At the same time, Moi was vilifying the young Kikuyu male. He also vilified the Kikuyu women, female, young kids. So I called um, Koigi Oamwere, who is still alive and who can verify this story. I invited him to come to London with the young Kikuyu, Kikuyu males that had come in running away for asylum. And at that particular time, they had been denied asylum. So we had to lobby Kenneth Baker, who was the Prime Minister at that particular time. We had also to, lab, uh, to, uh, to lobby Tony Blair and Lord Steele, a great friend of Raila Amolodinga. By that time, he was uh, Steele of the Liberal Democrats. We went ahead and also included the Sto uh, Scottish National Party and also other political parties to look into the issue of thematic assassinations and killings of the Kikuyu male uh, of the Kikuyu young male and depopulating their women. And this history that we are writing down. As a result of that, we lobbied the United Nations Human Rights Commission, of which they sent our special rapporteur, Professor Philip Sons, who came on a fact-finding mission in this country. And then he found out, what he found out was very appalling. He made his report to the United Nations in New York, and then the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees in Switzerland came up with guidelines on how to treat asylum seekers from this nation, especially of the Kikuyu origin. And that's why we heard for the first time lots of them being given asylum in the UK. I went ahead and joined uh, the then president of Ghana, Jerry Rawlings, whom we convinced to ship out some of these Mungiki leaders. As a result of that, Many of them were shipped to Mozambique, one of them being Ndunge Wariungi, who was shipped, shipped out with a, pass, with a Portuguese passport. You can find that out from him. And because of thematic and systematic killings, our lives were put in danger, save for James Orengo and Mwishimiwa Railo Dinga, who is sitting here, who came in London, made many trips, many trips in London, to console with us with those, and with those particular families that they had lost their siblings. I hold the former president accountable for the thematic elimination of the Kikuyu community, something that Gashagwa is now repeating. And let me assure you that we are appealing to the British government not on cameras. I am appealing to the British government not on cameras, but we know what you are going to do. To ban those who are involved from stepping foot in Britain and EU, to ban those who are spearheading these semantic syst and systematic killings of young Kikuyu men and women from setting foot in Britain, in UK, I mean USA. And I can assure you that when I say it, I mean it. And I know what I'm talking about. And with Baba being here, and the other lawyers being here, and other leaders being here, I can assure you for free that we, having been outside the country, knowing the history of what the Kikuyus did, for this country, of what the Kikuyus have done in the entire world, of what the Kikuyus have done to open up the economic development of this country, of how much money is brought in this country through Kenyans in the diaspora, many of them who originated from Mungiki, many of them who remained outside, many of them who suffered, and thank God they have settled in the UK, they have settled in the United States, and they are bringing money in the country to improve the economy of this country. Yet some MFs are now taking advantage of political ramifications to kill them. Gachagwa is just a small man. You may have the barrel of the gun. You may have all the powers. You may have all the police. But when the day of reckon comes, you'll be alone. 
We have seen other leaders who are here before who are used to doing that. Biot being most, one of them. Where is Biot today? Dead and buried six feet under the, the grave. What about people like those ones you know from Mount Kenya? When you take power and power corrupts you and you start eliminating people, you start eliminating people, you start cleansing people, you start ethnicization of one community. How do you think Kenyans are feeling about it? How do you think people in Uganda are feeling about it? How do you think the world is looking you at? Kenya was very peaceful until recently when madness came in after stealing the elections. You want us now to come and work with you? Oh, Professor Wajakoya can just be brought. And for those who are being bought, we know them. Time of reckon will come. We are here to appeal to this government to leave Maina Njenga alone. Leave Maina Njenga alone because you are just making a mole out of a mountain. Maina Njenga has played his role. Maina Njenga has paid for his whatever. Why would you just take one man, shoot his wives, kill them, shoot at him, and then now you want to disperse those young men? They're hungry. When you see a lion, don't think it is a lion when you can put your finger in its mouth. Gachago has just put his mouth, he has just put his finger in the young men who are hungry, making Kikuyus to fight Kikuyus. How do you think other tribes in this country are feeling like? How do you think the Luos are looking at them? What about the Luyas and the Masais? Oh, Kikuyus are very peaceful people. I have a daughter from that community. I have friends from that community. In the police have been promoted by people from that community. In the last general election, I was financially supported from people, by people from that community. Please give me time. Please. I'm angry. Give me time because this is something which is going right inside my soul. We cannot allow this. We shall never allow this. And for you who are here, who are related to members of the Kikuyu community, how do you feel when one man who is using taxes belonging to the Kenyan people who wants to eliminate the entire society? You kill one Kikuyu, ten are born every day. Moit tried that. Kill five, a hundred are born. These are like the Jewish people. You cannot eliminate. Muzungus tried and they failed. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. I'm sure we will hear from the DAP party leader, Mweshmiwa uh, Waziri Wamarwa.